We can't believe it's already our last episode for now. We hope you enjoy it. And don't forget to hit subscribe for future episodes. Man, what did I say about interrupting me? Uh, you, you lucky this is our last day, you know that? You are lucky. Hello guys, and welcome to our last segment of Smart Fox TV. I'm ready for summer vacation just like you guys. I got the nice shirt and everything. <laughs> it was fun being a part of this team and trying to educate you guys and adding some entertainment. Today I want to highlight our favorite segments of this year. We will be watching one of each of our segments starting with Sally. So without further ado, let's get to the video. So our first video today is going to be Christmas in Japan and China. This segment is made by Sally. I hope you enjoy it. Hi, this is Sally and welcome to our segment today. Today we're going to be watching Christmas in Japan and China. We know that traditions differ by our backgrounds and our culture. And in the U.S., the word Christmas brings to mind Santa, reindeers, snowmen, Christmas trees, nativity scenes, and of course uh, that neighbor of yours that has one too many lights. However, if you Watch were a Christmas to video China, during the summer, China, or if you live there, you might notice that there are different thoughts about Christmas. Today, we're going to explore what Christmas looks like in China and Japan because they're similar yet different to what we'll see here in the U.S. Number one, Christmas time is a romantic time for the Chinese and Japanese. Christmas Eve is like Valentine's Day for the Japanese, and it's considered their most romantic day of the year. So there is a huge really? pressure for finding a date and having a dinner date on that day. Likewise, many America, restaurants, your game stores, man. and Come malls on. are decked out to the full in lights. Oh, y'all definitely! Come on, man. We don't see a tree like this in America. In China, you'll also find many couples going to amusement parks and ice skating rinks during Christmas time. Number two, Christmas is super commercialized. Although this might not be too far that's, from what we have yeah, in the United that's States. Christmas is definitely in commercialized. China, Japan, you'll find many large department stores. <laughs> Trust me, it definitely is commercializing in the U.S., man. Decorate it with all kinds of Christmas decor and promotions. All for the sake of promoting more <laughs> sales. The Chinese Santa Claus is True. also more of a lifter of festivities rather than a symbol of Christmas cheer. So you'll often see Santa's playing music oh, and doing all kinds of silly cool. stunts aiming to create a happier atmosphere or some more stuff. Japan Santa <laughs> is also quite popular, but it may be because of Santa's similarity oh, to Kote, so. one of Japan's <laughs> gods of fortune, who also happened to be a big belly jolly guy. Hey, man. In both China and Japan. Hold on, hold on. Who is this? Or summer stuff. Japan Santa is also quite popular, I watch the segment but it may be because of Santa's similarity to Hote, one of oh. Japan's gods of fortune, who also happens like to be a big from Dragon belly Ball. jolly guy. In both China and Japan, people also exchange gifts on Christmas Eve, with the Chinese often gifting an apple to friends due to its similarity to the word peace in Mandarin Chinese. Lastly, there's the food. While Chinese oh, give one good, another though. apples hold on, hold on. to wish... Can we see, lastly, can we see the food? The... Oof. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, America, step your game up, man. Come food. on. While Chinese give one another apples I'm to joking, wish peace to one another, Japan mad. takes it to the next level. They have a huge array of Christmas cakes that are decorated to the nines and available for purchase across many bakeries. Also in Japan, mm. the one Christmas food you KFC. must have on the table is Can KFC. Kentucky also Fried Japan, Chicken. Okay. <laughs> Hold on now. Is KFC. That That's Kentucky right. Fried Chicken finger looking good. I like that. I can get behind that. I can get behind that. I'm moving to Japan. <laughs> Kentucky Fried Chicken. Thanks to ingenious marketing and maybe oh Colonel Sanders' similarity <laughs> to Santa Claus, KFC is now synonymous with Christmas in Japan. Wow. Case in point, check out this <laughs> really commercial. Kentucky Christmas. Are you That's good. <laughs> they really <laughs> did some of the KFC buckets of chicken. <laughs> See? 
Yeah. See? See people? It's not only black people that like fried chicken. I mean, how can you not like fried chicken? Like, come on. That's a cool commercial. We hope you enjoyed today's segment on Chinese and Japanese Christmas. All right. So our next segment of the day is Kim going on a trip to Dubai. I'm actually interested to see this again. I haven't seen this in a while. I forgot what Dubai was like for her. So I'm interested in seeing that. This is Kim, and thanks for joining me for my segment on Dubai Aquarium and Underwater Zoo. Ooh. Dubai is located in the Middle East. Oh, yeah, I picked this it's music It's part of the UAE, which stands for United Arab Emirates. The UAE is made up of seven emirates, and it's formed through an elective monarchy. Another famous emirate that you might remember the name of is Abu Dhabi. But today I'm here to give you turn, turn some fun things to do if you ever were to visit Dubai. Can your dogs barking? For me, I was only <laughs> there for a three day layover. But one of the things to do cool, is to visit the Dubai Mall. This is really and within cool. the Dubai Mall, you this is a mall? Can go to Dubai's aquarium and underwater zoo. From the outside, as you are traveling through the mall, you can pass by. That is so large cool. Malls that house the underwater sea creatures and are able to see this them. This is more malls like this. People are seeing them here. The Dubai Aquarium and Underwater Zoo houses over 140 different animals. Yeah, America, we're going to have to set our game up. Come on. over fair marine species as well as tiger sharks. A recommendation from me if you do decide to ever visit Dubai's Aquarium and Underwater Zoo is to not buy tickets from the counter as it is extremely expensive, but to buy them I bet. Hand, I bet it's through their website or Dubai's website in general for visiting their tourist sites. This is Kim, and thanks for joining me for my segment. Okay, that was Dubai cool. That was a cool video on Dubai. Our next segment is going to be Tracy's segment on breakfast around the world. And I remember... You have some really good breakfast over here. I remember seeing this video. But I'm going to play it for you guys, the ones that haven't seen it. It's, gonna, it's a really good. Welcome back to another segment of Travels with Tracy. Breakfast Edition. Mm. Breakfast is often the most important meal of the day, and for good reason. As the name suggests, breakfast breaks the overnight fasting period. It's really good. Boost your energy so levels really good. <laughs> breakfast is also heavily connected to a country's Man. traditions this around the like world and offers a glimpse into different or, cultures. I don't really know exactly. Today, we will take a journey into breakfast around the world. First up, Netherlands. Netherlands. In the Netherlands, what you got in Netherlands? Sliced bread topped with very things like ham, cheese, jam, or haggis, which is a sweet flavored sprinkles. Meadowlands, half moons, pastries similar to croissants, but smaller and sweeter. Mm -hmm. Vegemite is a Vegemite? Oh, no, 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 no. I'm sorry, Australians. I'm sorry to anyone that likes Vegemite, which is probably hardly anyone except Australians. <laughs> But Vegemite should never exist. I'll tell you that right now. That condiment should never be in stores ever. No. Brazil horrible. usually consists sorry, of some fresh sorry. Bread, sorry. Vegemite coffee, is horrible. Pizza, and fresh fruit like papaya. In the Central Andres regions of Colombia, Shangua, a soup made with water, milk, and potatoes typically served with an egg on top. The soup oh, looks that is look is bad. Over and I'd try that. I would definitely try that. Essential part of breakfast in Cuba, in Cuba. is piping hot coffee, oh, yeah, leche, or a coffee with frothy milk, which was stuck. Mm. Eastern Africa, a common breakfast is mandazi. Soft triangular See, donuts. This is good. Milk, Take notes, Australia. Tea, Take some notes. Right? The national dish of Egypt, Egypt is baba, bean stew that is some have That's suggested interesting. dates back okay. to ancient Egyptian I like that. I, I try In that. Finland, a hearty bowl of oat based porridge. Fresh or frozen I've never been, porridge, been a fan of porridge, so that ain't for me, Finland. In France, a typical drink. Coffee is a common breakfast beverage. 
That looks good. To me, it doesn't seem like much of a breakfast. It doesn't seem like much of a breakfast to me. In Israel, it's communal style of breakfast rather than the food itself, which is I distinctive. Need Shakshuka, I need a dish of eggs poached in tomato sauce. It is flavored with onion, chili pepper, quinoa, paprika, salt, and pepper. In Italy, the people, they rarely even sit down. It's a quick coffee, their cappuccino, espresso, and a sweet pastry. In mainland China, deep fried breadsticks called yokwa. It's like a donut, usually served with kunju or rice bowl. Or warm soy milk. Chilaquiles okay. is a uniquely Mexican dish. Corn tortillas are cut into pieces and lightly fried, then simmered into salsa until the tortillas begin to soften slightly. The mixture is topped with any that. number of combination garnishes from queso fresco, chicken, onion, avocado. He sounds like something from San Andreas. In south of India, small round fluffy steamed cakes called idelia are often the most common breakfast, so often so served with a hot cup of chai. <laughs> Spain, the perfect breakfast is simple, pana la table, or pana la What's that? Bacon on bread rub with garlic and tomato, just with olive oil. This can be topped with cheese, ham, or sausage. Oh, it's ham. And also a popular breakfast is Ooh, churros. Ooh, churros. Oh, those are so good. In Sweden, a smorgas or an open Sweden, sandwich is very popular. My infinity is part Sweden, actually. Switzerland has museli, which is the roots of Switzerland. Really? Talk the about Sweden. The blend of oat flakes, nuts, raisins, or any type of dried fruit is often with cookers. For most people pause to consider a British breakfast, of course, one thing comes to mind, the full English Ooh. breakfast. A That's British a breakfast. Ooh, a more typically good. British breakfast probably makes me more like a cup of tea and some toast. Oh, I'm getting hungry just watching this video. <laughs> English breakfast usually consists of egg, sausage, thick cut bacon, wow. beans, mushrooms, tomatoes, hash browns, and toast. The regional varieties include the Scottish breakfast, which has black pudding and haggis, and the Irish oh, breakfast, man. which has white pudding. And be like soda. Scotland, everybody. And just be like Scotland. Tea. In Nigeria, Nigeria. the breakfast differs well, this is on Nigeria the region, too. community and tribe. But a popular dish is oji and akara, a oh, cornmeal oh. and bean cake, often accompanied with yam fried eggs. I want to try that. I want to try that. Like, in the Philippines, pudding. it is usually the last meal of the day. Often consists of fruit, tante sal, bread rolls, mm. curry rice dish, and a little sausage known as a be rocking sausage, in the Philippines? Which can be fried with garlic, eggs, beets, and beans. In Russia, a popular breakfast is oh, small cakes that come in many varieties, oh, like the Russia, pizza, a huge country. The like and the fluffy odell. They are often served with sour cream, honey jam, or fresh bread. Turkey breakfast consists of bread, cheese, olives, cucumbers, tomatoes, spicy Turkish sausage, honey jams, omelet, and fruit. It's accompanied with a big dish and served with delicious Turkish really tea good. or coffee. In the United States, the US, the let's see. Dish. Breakfast, American breakfast usually consists of eggs, mm -hmm. with bacon, hash browns, and toast. Yes, this we know. Yes, we know. Pancakes and maple syrup. My personal favorite, Venezuela, the empanadas, the pastries filled with fresh cheese, minced meat, or combination of veggies. This is your favorite right here? And that's all. I mean, that actually looks pretty good. Breakfast around the world. I hope you enjoy. So, our last video today is going to be my most viewed video the timeline of the Sonic franchise. Sonic was my childhood, so I made a video on it, and how it became so good at the beginning, then around like 06, anyone as a Sonic fan knows what happened that year. The worst Sonic game, one of the worst games ever came out that year. Oh, man. I'm gonna get into it right away. This is... Sonic the Hedgehog was one of the most iconic video game characters in the 90s. It was. Sonic had potential to give even Mario for a run for his money. It, it, it's, I'm disappointed by that, happened. man. Like, it really, it was hanging out with, it was hanging with Mario. Mario is clearly this better. Happened. Uh. <laughs> ah, I hate this so much. Uh, and look this. at this, man. This game was so broken. Yeah, Sonic hasn't had the best track record in later. No, he hasn't. Today I'm gonna to go through the timeline of Sonic. This was Hedgehog. Sonic right here. This was see that, that was Sonic Prime Sonic right there. Interesting one. I'm going to go over the games that have made an impact on his legacy, whether good or bad. Let's start from the beginning, shall we? I know that 
Before I start, I want to let you guys know that I grew up on Ah, that was my I was introduced to play this. Oh my god. This brings back so many memories. I used to play this all the time when I was a kid. Oh man, this was. That's how I fell in love with that Sonic. And Sonic Origins is coming out next month. So I cannot wait for that to come out. It has it has all three of the original Sonic games, I believe. I, I might have more. I might have CD too. I'm not sure. I'll have to look into that, but I'm definitely excited for that to come out. Collection Plus on PlayStation 2, which gave me the opportunity to play yeah, most was... of the old school Sonic games that were on Sega Genesis at the time. So it all started in 1990. Sonic games and this game is one of the harder Sonic games. Oh, this game was hard. I'm not gonna lie. I love Sonic, but this game was really hard. The game hasn't aged too well since, but it's a great debut to a great It didn't let you get speed like that. Then the next year, Sonic improved on its predecessor in every way. With the introduction of Tails, another player can help you throughout the game. And you can also play against them. Sonic the Hedgehog 3 was Sonic in its prime. It was so beautiful for its time, and you can play as yeah, multiple characters. Right here. Michael Jackson, yes, you heard me correctly. The Michael Jackson. Michael Jackson. On the soundtrack man, that's crazy. Crazy. We didn't know what could even top Sonic 3. And eventually, nothing could. Nothing could have topped that game. That's it's still a top 3 Sonic game. After the amazing run that 2D Sonic games had, times were changing later in the years, and the Sonic developers wanted to move on to the 3D era of video games in the late 90s. That's when Sonic Adventure came along, and depending on that's who when, you ask, that's when Sonic went either down. Either one of the best Sonic games or one of the worst. It was the introduction Sonic Adventure, to more of the Sonic characters that we know today. And I will tell you, aside from Sonic, Tails, and Knuckles, the rest of the Sonic characters are some of the most hated characters ever. Not because they're evil or anything, but they're just plain annoying for no reason. And they also give you levels like this. Oh, that's why I never played Sonic Adventure, because of this level like Sonic this. Sonic Adventure 2 came around, and it's a massive improvement from the first this was, Sonic This was a good one. I love this one. It even has one of the best songs in the franchise. It introduces us to Shadow of the Hedgehog and other... Bonkali, the game peaked at the first level. I'll say that. The game peaked at the level one. That kids love. <laughs> hey, as long as I don't have to see him again. <laughs> <laughs> no. Never want to see him. Sonic I fight. I can't. You're gonna keep seeing him in Sonic games, to be honest with you. That doesn't mean they're right exactly. Because someone had the bright idea to create these. These levels, levels sucked. Levels, and they were so oh my goodness, fun. man! I hated these. At the time, so you would have to be looking for hours and hours. It wasn't a bad idea, but the execution wasn't great either. Awful, man. PlayStation 3 and Xbox 360 but coming I'll around. take Team I'll Sonic take those games over this. It was around Sonic's over this right here. anniversary. It was the year of 2006. You're gonna see. Some of you know where this is going. In 2006, <sighs> Team Sonic created one of the most broken games ever created. This game was rushed to Christmas, uh, as you can see, man, it was just... like in this alpha state. It was so unfinished that it shouldn't even came out. Not only that, but the plot for Sonic 2006 was awful. I know nobody plays Sonic for the plot, but this is ridiculous. <laughs> Team Sonic That's is still that haunted by oh, Sonic 06 to this day. After Sonic 06, they never, yeah, honestly, yeah, that's true. They never, like, yeah, they're still licking their wounds after this game, man. That's crazy. They're still licking their wounds. Like, they have not been the same after this game. Every Sonic game was a hit or miss after that. But they will still release great titles such Sonic as Unleash. Sonic Unleashed. Oh, Sonic yeah. Color. They're talking Sonic Unleashed was very underrated. That is one of my favorite Sonic games. There's a Sonic Generations. But they would also make games like Sonic Forces <sighs> and Sonic and the Secret Rings, which are iffy at best. And don't get me started with Sonic Boom. Oh, God. Of Sonic, Sonic Boom. I'm Sonic glad I never played Sonic Boom. Almost. That, was, that being said... Yeah, man. At least, Sonic, at least Sonic Boom worked. I'll say that. At least Sonic Boom worked. <laughs> ...to the original Sonic games that came out in the 90s. Oh, yeah. Until Sonic Mania happened. Sonic Mania is the game that returns this... the old rules of 
versions of the original Sonic games. Saved Sonic. I will be honest with you. The games were fully remixes of old school Sonic I was almost done with Sonic until this game came out. It really brings back memories when I was playing Sonic as a kid. It is arguably the greatest Sonic game of all time. Now, I'll, I'll, I'm, 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 I'm probably going to say it's probably great. the best Sonic game ever. move on from the predecessors that were once before. The Sonic franchise has its ups and downs. It had the potential to become one of the most iconic video game characters ever. But so Sega much potential, man. 3D. Man, they couldn't hang with Sonic the 3D games. era, man. Because that's the Sonic I grew up with. But that doesn't mean 3D Sonic games can't be better. After the latest Sonic game, with Sonic Frontier coming out later this year, one can only hope that we can finally make a game that we deserve. Me too. That is all for me today. I hope you enjoyed the video. And this don't is forget it. to give us Hey, another like. thing though about Sonic, this, this video is about to end, but another thing about Sonic, we could say a lot about the games though. There's one thing you can't say. They've never made bad music. The day that Sonic makes bad music, the franchise is dead. I will I will stand by that, man. <laughs> anyway, because this beat's bumping. I'm going to go this beat's bumping right here. And those were our favorite videos of the year. I hope you enjoyed watching those. I know I did. Those are really fun to watch. We're going to do a proper outro at the end of the video. But stay safe. Make good choices over the summer. I'll see you guys next time. Welcome back to Quote of the Week. Peace cannot be kept by force. It can only be achieved by understanding. Albert Einstein. Hey everyone, this is Kim and thanks for joining me for the current news. Hollywood is sad to report that Ray Liotta has passed away at the age of 67. He's known for his breakout role in 1990 for the movie Goodfellas, but he also has a very long lasting career in Hollywood. He recently played alongside Jennifer Lopez in the hit TV series Shades of Blue. Normally you hear about dogs and maybe even cats comforting those at senior living facilities or convalescent hospitals. But today you're gonna to hear about a very friendly chicken. In Prescott, Arizona, Gracie the Chicken visits the Good Samaritan Society an assisted living home for seniors and gives them comfort. She's a very tame chicken. She does not flap her wings very ruthlessly at all if anything she's very calm and the residents there say she just wants to be petted like any pet wants to be pet talk about being very adorable <laughs> this is kim and thanks for joining me for the current news welcome back to poem of the week i dream a world where man no other man will scorn where love will bless the earth and peace its paths adorn I dream a world where all will know sweet freedom's way, where greed no longer saps the soul, nor avarice blights our day. A world I dream where black or white, whatever race you be, will share the bounties of the earth and every man is free, where wretchedness will hang its head and joy like a pearl, attends the needs of all mankind of such I dream my world. Langston Hughes. We had so much fun this year sharing our stories, news, and trivia with you all. We hope you'll come back next year and tell your friends about Smart Fox TV. Until next time. Don't forget to stay healthy, keep reading, and keep learning over break. And as always, stay, stay foxy! foxy.